everyone, so for today's video I'm going to be doing my hair and makeup exactly how I had it in high school or secondary school depending on where you're from. So my makeup styles really differed when I was in secondary school. When I first started I wore no makeup but then in like year 8 and 9 I wore all makeup and then in year like, I'm probably year 10, like year 11, 12 and 13 I just gave up on more no makeup so I'm gonna go for the little bit in between where I was kind of experimenting with makeup hey everyone so this is Emily at the end of the video give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see what is behind my hands it is yeah pretty pretty dramatic so um give it a thumbs up if you're excited but first we're gonna start with the hair to get it off my face so I've got sunglasses on right now just so it doesn't go everywhere but I'm gonna show you my signature year eight, nine hairstyle. So I used to just brush it back like this and part it quite far over, like that. And then it would just be natural, like I wouldn't bother straightening it because my hair looked pretty straight anyway. And then I would take this side and I would twist the front, but then like kind of like, you know, like a French plait, but with a twist, so like add a bit each time. And the reason I did this is because I used to have a fringe and I was trying to get the fringe to grow out. So to keep it out my face, I used to have to do this to kind of get all the fringe up and then I would just use hair grips to grip it in and that was my hair before school. It was really quick. So this was my hair, pretty quick and simple for school um, and so off my face. To be fair, I actually really like this, although it does look a bit weird. I feel like I should have had to have this side out of the way as well, I don't know, but this is how I had it. So, 13, 12 year old Emily really had no clue about makeup, but I did know that I had to moisturise. So, I always use the E45 on my face. I know a lot of people now are like, oh my gosh, you can't use E45 on your face. But I mean, I did it for like, five years, and my skin's alright. So, I don't actually have any skin technical problems, so this is what I did. Okay, on to foundation. You're probably not going to be surprised, but the foundation that I used to wear was the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. I was always in the shade Nude Beige or Light Beige, I think. This is Light Beige. This is a fresh pot. Look how satisfying that peak is. And now I'm just going to dig in with my fingers. Oh my gosh! I remember I used to try and keep mine looking so pretty, and if I hit the bottom it was like the end of the world. And I used to just apply this with my fingers and like rub it in. So, here we go. My foundation was always way too light for me because I had this huge fear of being orange uh, and so I always went too light. Also, it's not particularly easy to match yourself in the drugstore either. This honestly feels horrible. Oh, don't forget the lips, foundation lips. I literally look like a mummy. I look ill. This is what I look like at school though. My skin is way too kind of normal to use this foundation. Like this foundation would be good if you have oily skin. <laughs> like it's so, it makes my face look dry. Or maybe it's just the colour. I don't know, but my hands are gross now. Foundation complete, onto powder. So of course everyone used the same powder. It was the Rimmel Stay Matte. It was incredible. I never had a particular shade. This one's warm beige. I used a ton of different colours and I used the biggest brush that I could find. I feel like I'm so pale, I'm blending in my background. Okay, so I just went like that and went like this. I mean, I used a brush for this, so that's pretty high end. And now I look extra matte and extra hairy on my face. <laughs> Do you remember when everyone used to be like, yeah, the Dream Matte Mousse makes you um, hairy, so you shouldn't use that foundation? Like, it makes your hairs show. I so remember the whole controversial thing over that. So next up, we're gonna move on to eyes. In my younger years, I used this ice blue cream eyeshadow from, it's like a pen from Miss Sporty, but they don't sell that anymore. I then moved on to this Rimmel individual eyeshadow, which is pretty much identical to this eyeshadow that I already own, so I just dusted that all over my lips. Pretty standard. This was even on a school day. There's the eyes. <laughs> so I did not just use eyeshadow for the eyes, I also used eyeliner and it was always a brown eyeliner on my waterline, on the top and on the bottom. I remember I always used to use a Rimmel, one of these, and I had the black Rimmel one too. Thought it was really cool because I had like a matching pair in black and brown from the same brand. And to finish off the look, of course, mascara, but what else would I use besides the Maybelline Colossal? Like, everyone used this. So, 
I did not curl my lashes, I just applied the mascara and it is horrific because my eyelashes are horrendous without being curled. So I don't even know why I put on mascara. And there we go, it literally did nothing. And I also used to put the tiniest bit on my bottom lashes. For brows, all I literally used to do was brush some brow gel through. I used a number seven one. But we had to go look for the exact one, but they didn't have it anymore. I don't know why I expected them to still have all this makeup. I mean, they had a lot of it, but just the odd things that you probably wouldn't wear anymore, they definitely didn't have. Like that Miss Sporty eyeshadow stick. <laughs> ah, oh my gosh. Foundation in my brows issues. So I used to use two cheek products. Firstly for blush, I used to use this Rimmel Winter Glow blush. Now, they don't actually do this anymore, but I still have mine, so... You know, despite the fact it's like three years old, we're still gonna go for it. It's probably actually five years old, but... And I used to like really blushy cheeks. Like, this is not enough. No way. And of course, you can't drag it up only on your apples. Now if you know me, you'll know for my whole life I've always been all about being bronzed and being tanned, so bronzer for me was a must. This is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer and I always used to use the Sun Glow shade. Now to this day I still think this is a good bronzer and I'm glad to have it back in my collection, just you know, for this video. It's quite orange but I actually really like that in a bronzer, especially if I want it to make me look really tanned. And then last but totally not least, lips. I used to use this lip gloss from number 17, which they didn't have any more, I went and checked. But this one from L'Oreal is pretty much identical. This is their Dazzle lip gloss in the shade 210 Disco Ball, and it was just a bronzy, shimmery one. I had so many from 17 that I just went through and through and through. Uh, so yeah, let's pop this on. It really goes nicely with the foundation lips. And this was my final look for school or for any time. I really didn't know how to do any other style of makeup. I mean, what's changed? I wear the same thing like every day. But yeah, I was all about the rosy cheeks, the glossy, glittery lips, brown eyes. I feel like that's pretty safe. Uh, but the lack of eyelash curlers just makes me want to cringe so bad. So I thought we'd have a look at some old pictures of me that I found on my Facebook and see me through the years and see what I look like. So this one here was in 2010. This is me and my sister, but I blocked her face out just because I knew she wouldn't want to be in a video. And yeah, this is me when I first started to wear makeup. I had hair extensions in. How old was I in 2010? I was either 12 or 13 in this. And yeah, I mean, my brows haven't been ruined yet, which that's a plus. My mum still did them at this point. I had so much mascara under my eyes. Again, the glossy lip and, and um, pink cheeks. That was me. That was my signature look. Uh, I feel like this is a very good reflection of that. Next up we have me in 2011 when I cut my hair and ruined my brows. This was actually on holiday in Lanzarote with my friend Libby. I was still all about the not curling my lashes and using too much blush. That obviously was just my style but at this point I had my signature side fringe. My fringe had grown out enough for me to be able to push it over and just do that and then it'd be a side fringe. Coolest thing ever. I used to spend hours training it into place, hair drying it with grips in it so it would stay in place. That honestly was like my childhood. <laughs> and finally we have this one here. This one was 2012 I believe. This is when I went to see McFly and my friends. My brows had grown back quite a lot by then. But again, what's with the pink cheeks? I think I was just obsessed with this blush and just used it all the time. Um, still with the crazy pale face. Again, I still didn't curl my lashes. Oh my gosh. Um, so as you can see, my makeup really didn't develop. I only probably started getting into makeup when I was in like year 12, year 13. So up until then, I had no clue until I started watching YouTube. And I feel like that says a lot. <laughs> so yeah, this is me. This is what I used to look like. This is me with my what I used to look like makeup now. I don't know. This was a lot of fun to do. Let me know down below if you like any other videos like this. Give me some suggestions and let me know what your makeup was like in secondary school because I'd really like to know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye!